Well, you never know what you're going to see in Florida. So, proceed to the route. Got a big gator here going off the road. <laughs> Let's see if we can get closer. Proceed to the route. And there he goes. <laughs> hurting him to get him to go back to where he was going. <laughs> Big dinosaur. All right, see you later, Gator. looking for short tail snakes uh, one of the rarest snakes in North America <laughs> yes 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 the rarest snake in North America. Yeah. Oh my God. The rarest snake in North America. And not Hernando, not Marion. Now you see that head twitching? This is what we wrote the paper on. That head twitching right there. When we were studying. Ah, uh, short tail snake. What's the genus? It's still- Saperpeltis now, what's Stylosoma? Yeah. Oh, look at that now. Look at the size of this snake. It's a shoestring. Oh my God, I love these things too. Oh, wow. Mm. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen one of these in, I don't know, four, five years? Garrett, when's the last time we got those two? 2014? Whew. defensive posture well a short tail snake it don't scare it yet no it this is a snake that's got a really small range in Florida so that's what makes it really uh, unique and uh, and special look at that look at that head twitching Looks annery. There's almost no color on it. Yeah. Look at it. There he goes. He's got the tail shaking. Wow. He's trying to act like a pygmy rattlesnake right now. Look at that. Mr. Pygmy rattlesnake. But it's not. It's a short tail and it's cool. So this snake is uh, protected in Florida and it's a no touch so we scooted off the road and we're doing some photographs now and uh, we'll be on our way these snakes uh, eat tantilla crown snakes mole skinks blind snakes and any other probably smaller snakes like ring necks things like that The head bobbing is a defensive behavior. So cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, one day there's probably not going to be any habitat in Florida for these guys, and they're going to have to live around homes, hopefully, to survive if their uh, food is available.
Finding the short tail snake yesterday was pretty cool. We went out to look for that, and that was our target. It's a county we've been looking to find one in for a long time now, and it's taken a good three or four years. It was an area that I had to survey when I was on the rare snake uh, study in 2013. So I knew there were records from there, but I had only found them uh, in Hernando County. And uh, this is a different county further north, and I'm just pretty happy to find that. When you've spent a lot of time looking for them, among other things. But uh, Sandhill herping is, uh, is feast or famine, and it's usually a lot of famine. A lot of days you don't get anything. But I'd rather find something in the sand hills than, uh, than at night on, on hard roads where I'm just finding water snakes and stuff. So, so I'm hiking today in a, a sand hill area um, that I've seen Simus tracks before, and I know Simus are here, southern hognose snakes. Um, it's got a lot of sandy areas, so I can see tracks or actually see one because they're so hard to, to detect on any kind of vegetation or leaves or, or pine needles. Um, so I try to go through the sand hills where it's really sandy and that way I can see a track or even see a small one because looking for a four and a half inch tiny snake is not easy. Looking for the sand hill species is really cool. Something that's, that's a real challenge and uh, they're really cool and it's just my favorite so I try to make those videos the most. I mean, it's definitely the, uh, the snake I've studied for most of my uh, herping days here. And uh, it started big time in 2013 when I did the rare snake study for FWC. And I was studying southern hognose snakes, short tail snakes, and pine snakes. So once that ended, I got hooked and I just keep looking for them all the time now. So anyways, let's see what I can Fine, it's not going to be easy, but it's uh, it's really cool out here. I like looking around and hiking around here for a while. Right here, you see this little hole here, it's been dug out. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, a snake did that, or this, this is a Florida mouse burrow. Um, it's a little small mouse, uh, really cool looking thing. Um, but anyway, it's a Florida mouse hole and pine snakes and other snakes like to eat them. So anyway, so if you ever see these in the sand hills, looks like a, a miniature gopher tortoise burrow maybe, but that's what it is. There you go, I was like, come on. Eastern hognose snake. It's a little baby. These guys spread their neck. Little hits yeah. also, but they spread their neck a lot wider than a southern hog nose, the simus. Well, I'm in the uh, upland sand hills today, and uh, I, the morning has started out pretty bad. I've already seen a dead coral snake, a dead baby pine snake, and a dead pygmy rattler, and I've seen nothing alive. Okay. I've got a little teeny tiny pygmy here. This guy's tiny. Here's as I can show you. He is tiny. I don't want him to bite my hand, but there's my hand. Oh, there's my hand. This guy's really teeny tiny. He's getting off the road, so just let him go. A little tiny pygmy. So 
I'm uh, I'm in the ham golf hammock now. Uh, it's time to quit the sand hills. And here I've got a, another pygmy right here. We'll get outside and take a look at it real quick. Get it off the road. Now this pygmy's a lot bigger. Here's my stick. You can see it's a lot bigger. Pretty cool. Pygmies are so common that most surfers in Florida don't really care about them. But they're really pretty cool. Real sweet. If they were less common, people would uh, appreciate them more and probably look for them. Anything that's not common is what people want to look for. Let's get them off the road. Move on.